Shorty the satellite and the lost rocket. Far away, deep in space, Shorty the satellite lived on space station Mom Base. He had lots of friends who lived there too. Some were spacecraft and others were droids and robots. One day, as Shorty was flying past the interstellar cargo terminal, he saw his old friend Ronnie Radar Unit. Ronnie was standing by some cargo and looking very sad and lonely. What's up, Ronnie? Oh, Shorty! Haven't you heard the terrible news? I'm being sent away because I'm too old. They're going to snap off my nose and use me as a dustbin lid in the space canteen. But that's awful, Ronnie. I can't do that. There must be something we can do. Shorty continued his patrol, thinking about what Ronnie had said. He was flying over a nearby moon when he suddenly saw something unusual through his camera eye. It looked like an alien spacecraft. Flying down to investigate, he found a big rocket, battered and dented, crying in the corner of a crater. Excuse me, sir. Why are you crying? The damaged rocket looked at Shorty with tears in his eyes. I'm lost. I'll never get home now. Why? What's happened to you? You're all battered and bent. Rocket told Shorty his story. About two weeks ago, I set out on a mission from a spaceport far away. <laughs> During my journey, I was attacked by a gang of hooligan meteorites. They bashed into me, dented my body, and loosened my nuts and bolts. But worst of all, they bit off my radar unit. So now I'm lost forever and will never find my own way home. Oh dear, what a miserable day everyone's having, said Shorty. Then, suddenly, he had an idea. He called up Grandma Computer on his radio. Grandma lived on the space station and was very old and very wise. Shorty to Grandma! Shorty to Grandma! Are you receiving me? Over! Grandma to Shorty! Receiving you loud and clear! Over! I'm on Moon TL-57, Granny! And I've found a damaged rocket! Shorty explained his plan to Grandma. Yes, Shorty. That sounds like a good idea. I'll send him with old Zeke. Over and out. A few minutes later, Shorty heard a tremendous whoosh. Old Zeke the space shuttle arrived. Shorty flew up to meet him. Hello, Zeke. Have you got him then? A hatch slid open, and Zeke lifted out a radar unit. Shorty! said Ronnie, smiling. Shorty took Ronnie and tried to attach him to the lost rocket. I hope I'm going to fit, said Ronnie. Shorty twisted and pushed. Ouch! cried Ronnie. Then, clunk, Ronnie fell into place. Perfect, said Shorty. Thanks a lot, said Rocket. Now I can find my way home. And now I'll have to spend the rest of my life as a dustbin lid, said Ronnie. Then, with a blast from his launchers, Rocket set off with Ronnie. <laughs>